Hello, it's me, Richo, once again. Um, this is my third um, upload uh, here regarding Fourth Dimension Records, the, the other labels, um, some updating releases, etc., etc. I presume if you're watching this, listening to this, then um, you, you're pretty familiar with that by now anyway. But this is my third go at this. Uh, as I've said all the way along, I don't intend to um, become a, a vlogger or anything like that. Uh, simply here to promote what I'm doing with the labels, etc. And um, thus far, th this this seems to be quite useful. So that's why I'm really here. Um, of course, I have my newsletters as well. I send those out uh, two or three times a month. Um, if you're interested in receiving that as well uh, uh, quite a usually quite a thorough update regarding what's um coming up on the labels and uh, what's out and what's even available still from the back catalog uh sometimes including uh stuff that's not uh in the shop the big cartel shop so uh, and mail order items etc um yeah if you want a copy of that or if you want to receive that rather then uh, of course just contact me send your email address you can contact me via the usual channels I've, I've got the big cartel shop i've got uh, facebook i've got a few profiles there one for fourth dimension records as well so you can always contact um, and i'll gladly add your email to the mailing list uh, for, for newsletter updates um but this this is why i'm here i'm just here to promote what i'm doing I'm quite surprised so many people have, have now subscribed to this, actually. And also, I'm getting really good feedback, as I said. Um, um, and um, also, these they seem to generate a, a, a little more interest. Uh, I, I, I always get a few more orders and whatever. So I, I think it's worth me doing this. As I've said with the very first one, it's just me. You know, uh, It's down to me to promote what I do. don't really have much help from anybody else. Um, um, so, well, obviously, the artists I work with uh, plug what I do as well and, and plug their releases, and invariably that helps with uh, uh, you know, the, the greater scheme of things. But, um, it, you know, it's, it, it's all down to me So, um, and, and those that I work with. So, um, um, yeah, I've never had much support from uh, the uh, bigger magazines really i'm not even sure whether it does much to be honest um you know i've had reviews of books in record collector uh recently um maybe people go and try and find had reviews of two books the uh, the adventures in reality one and the grim humor book but i think i had one order for the grim humor book as a result of the record collector review so not really sure you know um how helpful these things are anyway so um yeah um anyway um i'm here again just to sort of bring you up to date with what's gone on with um the labels last month um um i um had the uh release of this finally happen uh, these landed the alternative tv uh was it white and sticky 12 inch these landed while i was in england last month um great record uh from mark perry and the gang uh the the, the three tracks on this are actually from the 90s the title track alternative tg is um and a homage to throbbing gristle it's fantastic um really good song uh, quite playful as well, I think, um, and, and a little dance floor friendly. If, uh, you know, if, if you know, if we're honest about it, it's it's a really good song. Um, I'm really happy with this. Um, I believe Mark is as well. Um, I need to really catch up with him. But it, it, this is what happened last month, and um, as I said, it arrived while I was in England, um, and it's a great record. It's actually sold out here uh all of the copies that i had have gone they've all or at least they've all been accounted for uh i've still got one or two batches to send out um this week but 
Um, that will be the last of them. All the direct orders have, have, have then will have then gone, and um, I, I'm, I'm very happy to say that, that yeah, my own copies have gone. Well, on one hand, I'm happy. On the other, maybe you know, in hindsight, it would have been good to have done another hundred or so of these records. But you never know how things will be with these, uh, um, you know, with any given release. You, you really won't. So I've got the sun glaring away here so let's try and re reposition this so it's a is that any better i don't know maybe it is maybe it isn't but yeah there's a well probably doing you all a favor so you'd have to see my ugly face but uh but yeah um uh, yeah I, I think that looks slightly better so um but yeah um so that happened um mark perry has copies uh but i don't know if he does direct order by all means, write to him, you know, through Facebook or wherever you can. If you don't hear from him, then I presume it's a negative, um, uh, that, yeah, regarding uh, direct orders. Um, can't really blame him. You know, it's hard work. <laughs> so, um, but yeah, maybe, maybe he does. Maybe he doesn't. I don't know. He's probably, uh, in all honesty, holding on to his copies for the next ATV shows, so the the, the the record can go on the merch stall. Cargo and Force Exposure have copies as well, so um, uh, um, you know the, 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 this uh, twelve inches out in the shops now, so it is available. But my own copies have gone. I've literally just got my own two personal copies left. Uh, I, ha I haven't held on to a small batch, you know, for a, a rainy day, you know, in the future where I can sell sell them for, you know, three or four times as much or whatever. I don't do any of that crap, really. So, um, um, but anyway, um, yeah, uh, they, they've gone, and I think it's a great record. So try and find it if you can. It's on it's on YouTube as well. You can find the tracks there and probably elsewhere online. But um, – Nothing really beats the actual vinyl version, of course. So, uh, at least I think. Um, and also, last month, um, while I was away, th this release landed the, the uh, Richard Young's Eka uh, CD album. Uh, let's open this up. There you go. Lots of grey. Very nice album. Looks like a, an early, almost like an early Cure album. So um, nothing wrong with that. But um, um, yeah, lots of grey, <laughs> similar to the uh, to the alternative TV uh, packaging as well. But it's always down to the artists how they uh, choose to present their work um, and indeed what they want to do with it. So I just do the label and the, and, and, and try and push these things. But that that's a really good amp. It, Oh, it, it collects um, six songs. Richard Young's uh, playing of, of Richard Young's playing um, uh, sp Spanish guitar. Um, the, the the six pieces are quite um, primitive in nature. Let's say um, I was reminded of um, uh, John uh, uh, Fahey's uh, work. Um, Maybe a little uh, Derek Bailey or Sir Richard Bishop, formerly of um, Sun City Girls. Re yeah, we, we, that, yeah, that's all good stuff as far as I'm concerned. But um, Richard Youngs himself said this was very ECM inspired music. I can I can see that. It, it, it certainly seems that way. Again, it's quite minimal, quite primitive, um, but at the same time, Richard Youngs. Is somebody I think who you know if you you thrust and uh, or put an instrument in front of him, um, you know to to, to 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 try and get to grips with. I, I think he he's somebody who will try even if he doesn't end up being a virtuoso. Then I think he's somebody who tries to understand the instrument um, with his own, within his own capabilities. Um, He'll try to understand it and try and get something out of it. He tries to find a voice, uh, you know, in, in any given instrument, and he, he, he uses it to, to 
channel his own voice as well. So it's got his own unique stamp on this. I think it's a great album. I think it's uh, uh, um, the, the fact that it's only um, 36, 37 minutes in length, if I remember. I haven't played my copy for a couple of weeks, so I can't remember. Uh, but I think it's certainly certainly less than uh, 40 minutes anyway. So, you know, it's a, a, a good length for a, um, an album, I think, like classic length even. Yeah, maybe even another 10 minutes would have been good. But, but um, I personally don't like it when CDs are too long generally. Uh, not unless it's completely justified, um, um, yeah, because of the, the length of the, the songs or whatever. But I don't like the idea of CDs just being filled up for the for the sheer sake of it. Usually, um, unless again the, the music warrants it or, or the, the nature of the songs warrants it. But it's a really good album. Plenty of copies of this available still. Of course, it's in. Uh, cargo and force exposures hands uh sound home in italy also um handle my stuff so um um yeah it is it's out there but by all means you know buy a copy direct you know uh, when i get money here for any releases then that money goes towards my next release so it's as simple as that so um it's a good album um very different to the other releases i've done of Richards on uh, Fourth Dimension, especially especially and including the last album that I did, which was the vinyl only Metal River um, uh, album that appeared earlier this year. Uh, I, I think, yeah, I think it turned up in February or something, February or March. Can't remember, but um, still got copies of that available. But that's a very different beast to, to this. Yeah, this is very restrained, very minimal um uh but um uh, metal river is the opposite of that it's quite um obtrusive it's quite um um i can imagine lots of people finding it very annoying um but um i like annoying music so uh so uh so yeah so um but yeah it, it's it, it's electronic and um quite obtuse and and, and ob 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 obtrusive and um a comparatively more difficult listen you know for the average person but um i do like difficult music so uh um but anyway yeah um uh, they're the latest releases that happened um the next one coming up is the um an oblique reference to zeros double cd compilation that's happening it's in the hands of puppy 38 um my designer um uh, also known by his real name of Michael Everett. So a big shout out to him. Uh, uh, and uh, as a quick aside, if you need any design work done, he's the go-to person. He's got a great understanding of this music. He's involved in this world of music as well. Um, he did the three books that have so far appeared on Fourth Dimension, namely the Grim Humor book, the uh, Ramley book, and the Adventures in, Re in, in uh, Reality Compendium. So, um, um, yeah, he, he's, he's a great person to work with. Uh, I, I consider him a friend. He's on the same uh, wavelength, for better or for worse. Um, uh, and, and, yeah, so he, he has a great understanding of this kind of music because he's immersed in that world himself. Um, uh, but, yeah, recommend him if you want contact details because – um uh, yeah because you want to uh, get him to help with your cd or record design he's the right person really good rates um he's a really good person to go to i think he's fairly busy for the next two or three weeks but um yeah i think he'd welcome any i hope i hope i'm right in saying this i think he would welcome any any more work of this nature coming his way although he is quite busy with uh, a couple of projects of mine in uh, uh, that are coming up um yeah and, and one of those again is the uh, um, uh double cd um compilation and oblique reference to zeros i should point out that uh, the oblique in that title has absolutely nothing to do with brian you know a couple of people have asked me um you know he doesn't have um 
the only claim on that word, Brian Eno, and uh, I love Brian Eno's early work as well, but um, early, everything up until probably the early 1980s. But anyway, um, um, uh, this title has nothing to do with Brian Eno and everything to do with um, uh, one of my favourite um, childhood films, uh, The Incredible Shrinking Man. I just happen to be... Um, randomly pontificating on how that film ends uh several months ago and um i, I love the way that film I, I think it's a great film anyway so it's, it's, it's a really good film and i i think it's uh um not a typical hollywood film because it's quite a bleak ending in some ways but bleak yet magnificent so really bleak but also glorious as well so i was just thinking about that i was just musing on that several months ago and excuse me that's where the title sort of popped up from just my uh, pontificating on uh, on that i think actually as i was cycling to the post office with a, a bag of packages um you know um probably a bag of uh, a, a load of books to send out but anyway that's where that title came from the compilation itself um features lots of artists that i've worked with over the last few years um and lots of new artists as well so <coughs> lots of um <coughs> excuse me so i think i've got the uh the lurgy again um no i think i i teach english as well and my voice just generally goes so i've got a very dry throat um and i've already done two lessons today before doing this so um yeah um so i'm always coughing but um <clears throat> yeah anyway <laughs> the um the um the the uh, uh compilation features lots of artists i've worked with lots of uh new artists it features lots of exclusive tracks um as well but at least they're exclusive at the moment who knows where they might end up but for now they're exclusive it's a budget priced compilation it's available to pre-order now i think it's really good value it's going to be you know two cds um crammed full of work by alternative tv kleischvar mad masks Jolt, Chorez, uh, Tabata Mitsuru, White P, Gad Whip, Map 71, Splintered, uh, JFK and Kevin Lasker. Um, um, who else? Extended Network, Andrew of Sleaford Mods, um, Solo Electronic Works, um, uh, Richard Young's. Uh, uh, who else? Uh, helm um lots of other artists as well it's a very diverse mix of uh, artists which is how i wanted it i wanted it kind of based on my having grown up with john peel uh shows you know i was also thinking about how diverse those shows were I was also listening to a few of those, a few of those John Peel show uploads on YouTube um, earlier this year. And um, it just kind of inspired me. And I thought maybe it was a good idea to do a compilation based on that idea as well. My tastes are very broad in music. And I think the label, the, the, the labels even, are, uh, well, at least Lumberton and um, uh, Fourth Dimension are pretty broad um you know they've got a very broad range um i don't like the idea of just doing a label that promotes one particular type of music i like um my labels to promote my own interests in music um and and you know already i've referred to lots of different groups uh, even in this rambling um video so um and you know i've already hinted at some of the stuff i like so um and that's just a, a small part of what i like as well so the labels definitely reflect that i hope so um you know i like guitar music and and ecm sound art um improvisation blah 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 I, I like all this kind of stuff um although i've also find a lot of music really dull and boring and um 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 
and, and, and frankly, I wonder why the hell it exists. But uh, yeah, um, um, you know, a lot of it's really mundane. Um, but I, you know, I, I hope, um, I hope um, people don't feel that way about what I'm doing with the labels. Um, but I always hope there are a few surprises there for people, you know. So, um, but anyway, um, I'll stop rambling. I've mentioned the upcoming double compilation uh, CD, um, the, the double CD compilation that will, will hopefully appear in early, maybe mid-November. Not a great time for any releases to come out. I've also got a new Kleischvar album coming up. Um, I think that will be ready for production during the next two or three weeks, I hope. Um, what else? Lots of other things in the wings as well still got problems with vinyl uh, production everything there is severely de uh, delayed um i moaned about that last time it's completely down to rsd um i get really pissed off every time i think about rsd and what it's actually done to um uh um, the whole production end of things i think rsd started out as a really good thing as well but it's just become a monster uh, uh you know um it's become something very different to the uh the great idea that it got its footing on uh, I, I think anyway you might have your own opinion about that but um you, you might disagree with me but i i really don't like generally don't like what rsd has has, has transmogrified into it's uh it's uh, uh um an unstoppable beast now um but anyway i don't want to moan on about that um so vinyl yeah I, i've still got two kleischvar lps stuck in production still waiting for test pressings um edward caspell 10 inch uh, i've got one of those sorry about the, the message alert there um Still got um, an Edward Caspell 10-inch also waiting for a uh, test pressing. Lots of people keep uh, keep asking me about, you know, what's happening with these releases. But it's totally out of my hands, totally out of uh, my good friend Steve Pittis, Pittis's hands as well. He's the person that deals with the uh, uh, vinyl production for me. Um, I've got at least three other um, vinyl releases in the wings as well. Um, everything's just delayed um um it's ridiculous so I, I cds are a safe bet right now and as i've said before i said definitely last in the last video upload i i i, I really like cds still i buy them still um i think I, I i think they're very convenient they're very practical um um yeah I, I, and, and i'm very happy to release them they're much cheaper to manufacture than uh, uh vinyl as well um uh, they've still got that um you know uh, tangibility element to them which i personally am in favor of uh I, I i like all of that so so yeah um also upcoming um are the next grim humor book i've decided to make the grim humor book a, a trilogy now um so it's a series of three books i just realized as i was working on the second book which i thought initially would be the the second and last grim humor book. i just thought some of the editions of grim humor had over 100 pages or, or almost 100 pages in so um just on that count alone I, there's no way i could do a book dedicated to uh, um, the, the uh, remaining um, eight, was it eight editions? Yeah, eight editions, without it becoming like a, you know, five or 600 page volume. Um, the Adventures in Reality book uh, that I did, it's huge. It's almost 500 pages and um, it, it wasn't really cost effective. So my idea with the uh the grim humor book now so keep it to a similar size to the to the first one and to do three of them uh, all of a similar size and you know, similar page count similar approach similar style similar presentation um and 
yeah, th- this second one, I think I need another two or three weeks to finish the first draft of the the, um, the uh, rewritten material um, and to wrap it up with a, uh, a discussion between Andy P and myself. Um, not so much an interview, but I think we'll be having a, a little uh, dis- discussion um, to, to round things off. Um where, whereby we'll uh, reminisce, uh, probably um, talk about some of the uh, things that went on behind, um, you know, some of these interviews. Andy, I think, has got a far better memory than mine. Not, you know, fit, uh, you know, so so um, I, I, I think he'll have lots of anecdotes and whatever to share. But anyway, that's the idea. We need another two or three weeks of that. I still need to do all the scanning of the pages as well from those four editions. Um, and then it's over to Puppy 38 again to, uh, uh, well, once everything's proofread, once or twice by my good friend Mark in uh, Moscow. Uh, once he's done that, um, it's every it's a matter of putting everything into Puppy 38's hands and, and, and him shaping everything up. So I think, I think it should be ready to pre-order next month i'm quite happy to do a pre-order on that um probably once we have a fairly good idea of the page count and i've had a quote from the printers for for the uh, initial run um um which will probably be similar to the uh the, the first book i imagine i'll have to do a few hundred of these um uh initially um uh, anyway um uh, so yeah watch this space on the uh, news regarding uh, um uh, the the second volume of the uh, grim humor book i've also got a um a book coming up on coventry fanzines i think this will be more limited in nature uh, and uh, yes it's a very um um uh, um what can we say? Uh, it, it, it's quite specialised, you, you, you know, um, in its scope as well. So, uh, but this is a collabor- a collaboration with Alan Ryder of Adventures in Reality. It's a co-production. We're 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 working on this at the moment. Working on the uh, the, the the final stages. We're reluctant to do a pre-order on this until we know exactly how much. Um, uh, this 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 is going to cost us. Um, so um, I think again, hopefully, we'll have uh, um, an idea on um, on that during the next few weeks, during the next month, and then we can also start going out on it. Well, Alan doesn't really want to do pre-orders. I I I, I personally do, but so we we. we discussing that at a moment but either way i think we'll be ready to have some solid news on that um uh next month sometime so we've got the two books coming up as well be- besides all the releases lots of other releases happening as well um uh, but I-, I should save those for a- another um update here or for the newsletter or whatever because i can see we're getting up to 30 minutes here um i do have plans to um maybe expand on these videos at some point i think i'll have discussions with 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 people that i work with i realize a lot of people won't want to do this i i I can't really blame them uh but uh, alan Ryder is definitely keen to do this and i think once i know exactly how to deal with the technical side of this i I absolutely no idea at the moment i think we'll uh, work on a a kind of um i don't really want to do an interview but uh, i think we'll have a a kind of uh live discussion you know about fanzines about the the, you know the, the fanzine or diy culture that we grew up with it could be interesting uh um, I hope. Um, um, I think Alan is somebody who has a lot of um, um, a, a lot of things to say about you know uh, a, a, about this subject. He's still uh, active as well, still creating music and whatever. So I, you know, it's still very much part of who he is. So I think we can have a quite interesting discussion about our respective backgrounds in uh, you know uh, 
post-punk, uh, electronic music, blah, 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 and fanzine culture and all the rest of it. Should be interesting. Uh, it's something I'd want to watch um, um, anyway. So that's usually uh, my prerequisite for um, you know doing anything that I do. So would I want to buy this music myself? Yeah, I would. That's why I'm going to release it. So, um, yeah. So, um, uh, hopefully the next one of these, I might be just doing a very short one next week to update, um, everybody about the Sean organ mini album. Um, but otherwise, you know, I, and really a, sh a short one just focused on that. But beyond that, yeah, I think we'll do a, a, a live chat with Alan Ryder, at some point in the near future um um i'll just round everything off with um a, a, a plug actually i'm going to plug this uh book that franz davar um uh kindly sent me last week um or I, I received it last week this is his latest um book on um corm k-o-r-m um corn plastics um, used to be a record label given to sound art, improv, electroacoustic music, all, all of this kind of stuff, and, and, and post-industrial and, 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 and far more beyond. But he's doing a very similar thing in, in that he's now publishing books. Um, I think this must be his fifth book. He's done quite a few. Check out his website anyway. Uh, but this is his latest. I just want to shout out. Uh, or give him a shout out because uh, I think he's doing good work. This is a collection of letters from uh, John Balance of uh, Coil, the late John Balance. Um, uh, I haven't had a chance to read it yet. Um, typically, I'm way behind on books. I've not even got to the last two uh, books that uh, friends sent me. I really need to catch up with lots of review material here. But again, time, my time, my spare time these days. Um, is generally spent on my own endeavors um but i do i do really enjoy writing about um other people's work um and um yeah and, uh, and and i need to catch up with lots of things including this um but i've not even had a chance to read it but it looks good it looks good i i, I think just a literally a collection of letters uh from john balance um yeah so um <clears throat> um yeah and and uh anthony oh, i don't know i can't even pronounce the uh the surname of the the guy um who was receiving and, and sending letters with uh to and from john balance yeah john john balance and anthony Brock Dick. I don't know. God, I have enough trouble with English. Um, anyway, um, it, it's a good book. So check out Corn Plastics um, on on the um, on, you know, on Google. Um, visit the shop. Um, plenty of other things piled up here. Um, I should also say, while I was in England last month, Graham Duff kindly gave me a copy of this. Uh, 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 one of his latest books, um, the otherwise co-written uh, with uh, the late Marquis e. Smith. Um, it, it, you know, uh, it, it's based on a screenplay that they co-wrote, and I think I, again, I haven't had a chance to read this. Uh, it's uh, um, a kind of maybe a gothic horror. Uh, I, I don't know. Um, yeah. Um, so maybe a little HP Lovecraftian. I, 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 I don't know. Um, I haven't got to it yet, but Graham Duff kindly gave me this when I met him in Brighton last month and I recommend his work as well. Uh, you can find plenty. He's very active actually. He's, he's, he's involved with a, a record label now. Of course he's done work for TV, uh, and, and whatever, but I recommend things that he's he's had a, a couple of books published um uh, a few books published actually so you recommend his work just disappointed that he didn't in, didn't um 
inscribed this one you know when he last gave me a book there was an inscription a personal inscription there for me so uh th th there's nothing like that this time but anyway uh doesn't really matter um graham's work is um uh, fantastic recommend it lovely guy as well um and uh, there we are so um maybe that's the best way to round this off oh god 34 35 minutes um don't you know there, there's lots of other people out there doing similar things um perhaps similar perhaps similar in to a certain degree lots of people doing lots of good work out there um i know i complain about a lot of music and, and and whatever but there are if you dig deep enough there are lots of people doing really worthwhile things um out there so um graham and friends being just two of them you know and again all as i said last time all the artists that i work with you can find their work on sometimes you can find their work on other labels dig deep you know, dig into them and, and explore all of those worlds invariably you'll find um lots of good good stuff there so i'm not just a, a miserable moany bastard who, who who complains about everything even if 99 percent of it is shit uh out there as uh sid vicious i think said so uh there we are um yeah um um on that note I'll stop rambling. Thank you very much for listening. Uh, sorry this has gone on really, really long. Um, sorry this is 36 minutes in length. Thanks for listening, watching, blah, blah, blah. Um, uh, um, yeah, I'll put a link into the shop below. Support the labels, buy stuff, support other people, as I said. And um, I'll be here again at some point when the mood takes me. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.